Hey, maybe I should drive around with with uh, those signs on the top of my roof. Liquidation sale. Uh, everything in America, because uh, well, you guys are getting ready to get blown up. See. Blown up clouds. Liquidation sale. Everything must go. Including the swamp. Everything in America first must go. <clears throat> Look. Well, that bank is out. You know how many people know what's going on? And you know how many people don't? Well, let's see, you know, in America... Well, let's see, they already plan on killing about 290 million Americans. Because when there's 330 million, and they talk about the 30, 33, so something like that, 33 million, whatever. I think they're going to keep 33 million, 333,333 and 33.3333, probably. You know, I, I, I'm not a complainer. I don't go around complaining to people. I don't go around um, the gossiping. Like that's why I shut the comment section off. The, the, it's gossip, it's chatter, it's demonic. 90% uh, of the, the, the comment section is fake anyway. There's only a few comments that were even legit. and uh, But even, even they would get attacked by the scum that dwells on the earth. So I got rid of it. And at first, I left it up for everybody to see, everybody to talk, everybody to spew, give everybody a chance to read what is being said about me, and does it make sense? And then, uh, then it was time to shut you little dominions up. It was time to shut you up. <clears throat> So the, the, the chatter, it's just straight up, it's in your head. There's constant chatter in your head. Do you know how to shut it up? Because if not, well, in all likelihood, you're gonna have you're gonna have some stress issues because you can't shut your face, you know, spiritually. But I look around at people and I see. I, I see candidates for people who would not want to live anymore. You know, whether they can't get around anymore, or just way too heavy, or just whatever the reason being. If I didn't know the Mason's secret handshake, I'm telling you, I would, I would have... My life would just be the way that I wanted it to be. I would continue on. I, I would have a, 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 an enjoyment of living every day. I just don't have that. And it has nothing to do with any... doesn't matter what kind of job you have, what kind of car you drive, where, where, what, where you live... None of that makes a difference. I don't care if I had a freaking mansion house and a Lamborghini and I didn't have to work. Life still sucks because there's no future. Because when you know the Mason's secret handshake, well, there's no future to live here on Earth. They don't think so. They're the ones deceived. Sorry guys, but you are. I know you think you're going to continue on and 
and live and everything's gonna be freaking great and it's gonna be just you guys and a few little boys maybe and uh, you know a, a couple girls to continue with the population but other than that The secret's out. Do you care if anybody knows? Nah, you don't really care if anybody knows, like, certain things about the things that you do. But you do care when someone's telling you what your script fully is. And, uh, and on top of that, getting it through the Bible, which is absolutely 100% true. So, when you start hearing that, Masons... I think you do care about uh, about somebody knowing your script because it's not that it's going to spread like wildfire and millions and billions of people are going to hear what I'm saying and it's going to come to pass and it's going to be true. That's not it. It's the fact that, oh shit, I had any know that again? Wait a minute. Guys, get, get, guys, get, come on, come on. Everybody. We need to figure out who this Robin character is. How did he know that we were going to do this fake-ass war on April 7th? Yeah. I'm going to remind people the truth constantly. Because that was the truth. The truth of the, of the matter is... April 7th was the beginning of the war that is now escalating. And I'm... I'm talking to the real people. The fools, think what you want. I don't give a shit. To the real people that understand, it's never been, ever been this talked about, this much talked about, with World War III right around the corner. It's just get ready to happen, and Damascus is going to get blown up, and Israel, and they're bombing, and Russia says this, and they're going to tell you that, and it's like... Never before in the history of the world has it ever been this bad. With the wars, the threats, and the rumors of wars. When did that begin? Well, it began on April 7th. It began with the fake ass Syria gassed our own people. And then Trump sending bombs over the next day. <clears throat> and, uh, and someone latching on to me because, well, their boss told them to do that because he's right. And we don't know how he knew, but how did he know it was going to be war on that day? You got to attach yourself to this guy. That way it can make it can make you once you once the dominions once we take over YouTube we'll look like the true prophets. You see what I'm saying? So I will always remind people of the truth, and they will constantly try to lie to you. Uh, so the truth is, war began on April seventh, and it began all the wars and rumors of wars, and then on top of that it began the peace talks, the peace and safety talks. And because when you know the Mason script, because you're ta I'm taking it out of the Bible, number one, and number two, I'm getting, I just get my information from God, the one that just kind of like throws some thoughts in your head at certain times and things click like that, like, okay, I get it. If you can't see that these clouds are uh, the explosion uh, nuclear bomb looking clouds. Okay, well then you can't see it then. You'll see it when, when, uh, when they tell you that. When they tell you that that's... See, here's the thing. I could tell you all day long. This is why I get tired of talking anymore. I could tell everybody all day long. These are nuclear bomb explosion uh, smoke clouds from the other cities that they're going to tell us that is on fire if they got nuked. Hurry up, run to your local uh, Walmarts and, and get into underground bunkers. Get away from radiation. Um, then, you idiots will believe it. And 
when I say you idiots, I'm talking to I'm talking to the ones that no longer can can chatter on my comment section. The ones that well, they just don't know. They're part of it, but they're the lower tier of the of the t the uh, the pyramid. The lower tier, the ones that are being deceived by the ones that are being deceived, and they're being deceived by their leader and their handler, and ultimately they're all being deceived by Satan, is what I'm trying to tell you. I've been deceived by people on YouTube because at first YouTube was a gathering to, to like, I was trying to gather uh, people that were like minded, not, not fakely like minded not leeches, you know. Uh, my material is original, and I think from the top of my head. And I don't read scripts and look around. And, and Nah, it's just I got sick of people lying on TV. Just sick of it. So I started to mock them to make you understand that this is how ridiculous they look and sound as they're telling us these stories, all these stories. These clouds have been getting uh, tremendously bigger, more explosive looking. And I'm just sticking with the same message. This is fake as shit. Everything in the world is fake. The people on YouTube, I don't even I don't even know if it's 10% anymore that's that's real. I think it's dwindling away. I get sick of even watching it anymore. I I I'm I'm just like I'm tired of it. I don't care if my channel gets shut down. Doesn't matter. I did my job. As soon as my channel gets shut down, I know that it's God's way of telling me you're done. But that's if it even gets shut down in a sense like that or once the war begins and the economy collapses everything's going to shut down so so for the people that think you're going to continue on on YouTube well then I guess you're deceived even I'm talking about you guys that work for the other you know these this this group of people can't be too specific because I don't know exactly what group of people they are it's just a group of demonic people that will deceive you and lie to you as much as possible because you have your father which is Satan and he's a liar so normally a son will go to his father to look for truth well when your father is Satan he's gonna lie to you when you go to God the father He's going to tell you the truth, and you're going to understand the truth. But when you think that you're going to continue on YouTube, and everything's going to... You can't see that the world is playing this, this script out. You can't see that America is going to be the first country to get absolutely annihilated on TV and shut down. The EMP is going to be shut down after we're told whatever lie that they want to tell us as to why it's man-made they're doing it they are doing it so for the ones that have already up and rolled and have left whether you're up in canada whether you're down in south america whether you moved over to freaking jerusalem andrew or whatever you whatever you go to north korea or wherever you are going you're not going to escape uh that's like trying to be Jonah, at fleeing, getting on a ship, and getting the hell out, and not warning people, not warning Nineveh that they're going to be destroyed in 40 days. So you just, it's not going to work out for you. If, you're, if, if you know what's going on, you're told to warn people, and that's what I've just been, that's what I've been doing. And, uh, and I can't wait until everything is just shut down, because... What it is, is it's the beginning of rest for an eternity. Now, people are going to be panicking because everything's going to get, you know, everything's going to get blown up and 
the cities across from you, they're going to tell you just, just they've been bombed. And I mean, it, it's the real, the only thing real about it is the plan to kill everybody. And, and I, I don't know, is that supposed to scare you? I don't know. It is if you believe in this life only, as if this is your life and you have to live this life and then after that it's like, yeah. all right, well, well okay then. Uh, you know, one third of our lives we're sleeping. And uh, to me that's home. Dreaming is home. Dreaming is where your soul continues on. And I've always thought that without any knowledge of knowing it, just knowing that there's a reason for your dreams and you can't always remember them vividly like you know when it comes to uh that that uh i don't know earth water fire or something or another but i'm pretty sure when the next phase comes uh it's going to be just as vivid as this touching the steering wheel of this car right now taking a, a sip of this poison even though it's delicious But that's the, that's the next phase. Once this starts happening, real shortly now, coming coming shortly. Um, you know that the, the I, it just seems like to me everything is full circle, and it and it's like like the reverse of the way it was in the days of Noah, where it goes from that five month period is the ending of it and then the 40 days of the rain and then the seven days to get into the ark it seems like it's it's the it's the opposite where the five month period is already taking place and then the 40 day warning well if there's a second 9 11 9 on 9 11 40 days from then will be october 21st uh and that would be exactly seven years since we were warned before about the whole entire world ending on that date. The date, not the year. But it is 40 days. So, I, again, I can't see. I'll be extremely disgusted if 2019 does come around. Because nothing will make sense then. Nothing will make sense as to why we're still here. Um... But a lot of people are banking on that. My faith tells me that's not the case. 95% probably of the population is believing that we're going to continue on. Even if America is destroyed, you, you really think the government's not going to come and find you and round you up? I mean, what are they going to just allow you to start growing tomatoes and lettuce? And, and drink from the, the stream, the water streams? No, it's, no. It would be nice if that was the case, where everything is completely shut down and people stop making vehicles and get back to horses and buggies, back to the olden, olden days, but without Satan around. But see, the thing is, Satan's still here. And he's pushing. This is his one final last push. And he's pushing and pushing and pushing because he knows he has a short period of time left. The people that work for him don't know that. The Masons don't know that. None of you has believed that. You truly don't believe it. And I finally understand that. It, it took a while to, to it, it took a while to figure out who knows what. Like, what, what do you truly believe? What do you truly think is going to happen here? Because a lot of people have agreed with me, but that's just because they were sucking my ass uh, trying to be my, my buddy. And uh, and that's sickening to me. It is. To be fake, it just... You got to live with it. You got to live with it. When you're fake, when you're lying... When you're withholding information, you know, when I imitated the kingpin, Richie, 
when I thought we were getting shut down at the beginning of the year, around December 29th, 30th or so, I made that video. And then, because we didn't get shut down, it's like, all of a sudden, everybody wants to be my friend. But, uh, it was just to, you know, because they were, their boss was pissed off, man. I mean, I made a lot of people laugh at that video. And it was true. And I don't know what to tell you, it was true. He's a fraud. Alex Jones is a fraud. They all read. They're all reading. And where do you get your news from? Uh, I read it from a prop card. If you're, a, if you can be a clown character, and and read well, then you you got the part. But uh, you know, you guys failed. Is what I'm trying to tell you. You's all failed. You's are gonna fail miserably, all the way to the very end because you have a lack of faith. Because you think you are God, I guess, apparently. I guess you think that you're God. Oh, I can't make something out of nothing. So I'm not God. I can't produce and create something like this bag out of nothing. Not God. <clears throat> but, uh... I don't know, the past couple of days, I just don't even, the YouTube thing is, it's, it literally gives me a sickness in my stomach. Because of the people that, the people that work for different corporations that are telling the news and, and it's like they're all excited about it and they're telling you Bible prophecy and it, it's all a bunch of sh freaking crap, alright? Yeah, they're playing the Bible out, of course they are. Yeah, that book was written by God, okay? Don't let anybody fool you. It was written by God. And the deal was Satan. Satan's allowed to translate it into all different languages. And that's where the confusion is going to lie in it. But the truth is the Bible itself. The original writings of the Bible is absolutely true. So to think that God can't have a book on earth that's freaking it's it's his earth it's it's everything is his he's not intelligent enough to have a book it's like here uh, well I don't have that I guess I took it out here's the own your own owner's manual to how to live your life uh, son follow it To think that God is incapable of being able to inspire certain men that he created and he knows their brain inside and out, to think that he can't do that? Come on, man. It's, you know, you're talking about the creator of everything. He created a book that's an owner's manual, just like car dealers, they create books. It's an owner's manual. It shows you exactly what goes on with the with the car and how to work it. They know inside and out. Don't you guys? Don't you guys? You, you hear me? No, they're not listening to you in your car. Come on, Robin. It's not a camera. It's a, uh, it's a compass. Yeah, I know what it is. It's a multi-purpose uh, system, just like the Skynet system is multi-purpose with images and and uh, pr precipitation and uh, you know all kinds of goodies are, is up there that they are going to show us. They're already showing us right now. You're seeing it. You're seeing it right now with these with these clouds. They're, you just are. Not too many people look directly up above like this. Like I, I'm going to show you. Not too many people look directly above, but when you're looking around the perimeter, if I get into a better area, it always looks like the outside is just blown up because these clouds are moving upwards in a mushroom type style. It's 
So we're first. There's going to be darkness. We are all going through it. We're all going to be left behind, okay? Because uh, of the rapture, okay? Because if you're not an image, you can't float up into the air. Uh, and if you guys have that job to set clothes everywhere, and you know it, well, and I know it too, and I'm not part of you, I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't. I, I would quit that job, actually. I would. Matter of fact, I would just turn away and repent. Straight to God from here on out. I tried to tell everybody that I could possibly reach war is going to start on April 7th. And they're all going to put their own spin on it. I still have those videos up if you want to look at them. Everybody's going to put their own spin on it. And that's exactly what they... No, Robin, it's it's always been like that. They've been talking about World War III for 10 years now with my typical long-ass CIA comment. That's another thing I don't miss at all. It's just the, the idiots, the fake-ass people that... Why do you want to comment when you're fake? You don't like the person. You don't agree with the person. But your job is to be kind? A kind agent? Whatever. And then at the same time, you have a douchebag agent account. So you're kind and a douche... You're, 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 you're kind of like a douchebag. So you have to be mentally unstable to have the, these personalities that you know when you have five to ten accounts and you gotta be a certain person you gotta say certain get a life man get a freaking life YouTube go screw yourself you suck I'm sick of you it's like being one of, one of the the only people left you know that's telling the truth when will you guys just shut me up so I can stop talking? It's like, it's, it's, it's freaking September now. Nine months later, I'm expecting to get shut down nine months ago. And we're still up. And Alex Jones's freaking frog mouth has been shut up because that's part of the plan. So they'll go, they'll go from the top, all the way to the top to the bottom and try to, try to shut you up to... Look, I'm not going to stop talking until I'm done, but I got to tell you, I'm I'm running out of things to talk about. It's all the same. Just get ready. It's it's happening. Uh, this America here is going to be destroyed on the television set. And you're going to see fake ass images and sounds and bombs and fire and smoke and sirens and everything. And and people are going to flee from the fear to noise right into the freaking pits which is the uh underground uh, bunkers in walmarts go right ahead run flee from the fear of the noise when no one is pursuing you so it's all a test but i'm just trying to tell people that we don't have to live like this okay well, if you think that this is going to happen especially when it's getting ready to happen like, like now, like very shortly, that America is going to be absolutely annihilated from Russia, which is going to send, or North Korea, one or the other, whatever that, whatever I wrote in that letter almost two years ago, North Korea, China, and or Russia, one, one, or, one or the other, you're going to, we will be told that our EMP has been blown out, or the, the missile's getting ready to get there, and it's going to be blown out. And that we're being bombed, and nuclear bombs are going off, because we're obviously seeing the clouds. And every state, every city, every neighborhood, that they're going to be told something different all throughout the world. It's lie after lie after lie after lie. It's like an onion. It's just peeling off lies after lies. So when it's all shut down... <clears throat> that's when I'll finally relax. That's when I'll finally start thinking, thank God this is almost over. 
What's next? I don't know. But it's something better than this. And if I didn't know... I'm telling you, my... I, I had a real great feeling about life just a couple years ago heading in the direction that I'm heading towards establishing my business and just growing and then going to do the hoods on the side and then make that my basically my retirement type job loving to do it making would make great money with it constantly creating different styles that's original and I'm sure people would copy off of, like always. But either way, I have my heart, it's like it's not even in my chest anymore. Because I feel dead to this world. Dead. Because it's sickening. Because I can't stand liars. I can't stand people that exaggerate the truth can't stand fake ass people I want to go where it's truth I want to go where there's no gossip I want to go where people aren't trying to be your friend when they're really not and backstab you I just want to go wherever God is all the time and whatever whoever's there is a godly person and Satan doesn't exist anymore because he's destroyed and we're gonna remember that we're gonna have our memory this time around the last time so it sure seems like within these since May 21st 2018 sure seems like it's ramped up with uh, Satan making his final push for these last five months hopefully something's on the horizon here it's getting ready to pop off and I pray to God it's on September 11th I really do because then there's a 40 day period from that time on might even extend for another 7 days another 10 days it'll end when you least expect it it's going to end at least a day later forever and a day it'll end at least a day later maybe seven maybe ten who knows but just get ready it's getting ready to happen